so happy that after my very first home video on health and wellness, a lot of you wrote back to me to say you are committing to cutting down on sugar. That is fantastic. Well done, guys. I'm making pap right now, sadza. The idea is to cut down on starch. I don't remove it completely. I just make sure I have smaller portions of what, whatever starch that I put in my plate. What is a bit worrying, however, for me, is I got a couple of emails from people who indicated that, yeah, they would try to jog, they would try to cut down on sugar, they would try to exercise and watch whatever they eat, cook right, when they feel like it. Since when do we base such an important matter on feelings? We all know that feelings change, they are fickle. So, I don't think it's the right way to put it. If we had obeyed or listened to our feelings, we would still be in grade two or grade one by now. We would not have gone to school because half the time we did not feel like going to learn. So when it comes to health and wellness, I think it is just one of those things where you have to commit to doing it. Even when you don't understand it, even when you don't feel like doing, but you do the right thing anyway. Take me for example, I'm not an athletic person. I don't like exercising. I don't like to run. I don't like it. But tell you what, I go to the gym every five days a week. I try and jog five days a week. I try and eat vegetables every day, fruits every day. I drink plenty of water. And I was just joking with my cousins the other time that, you know, I don't have those feel good hormones that are released when you're exercising. I, I don't feel those. <laughs> I don't experience them, the feel good hormones. But it has never stopped me from going to the gym. I still go there because I now know that it is good for me. So I'm saying it doesn't matter. Even if it means you close your eyes to eat those vegetables, that salad, close to eat those fruits, it doesn't matter. Even if it means you have to drag yourself out of bed and go and run, do it. It's for your own good. You can't wait for a time where everything is working together and then you're feeling positive and then you go to the gym or then you go and run. Do it now. You start to feel the difference. I'm Yaya Ruda. Thank you so much for watching. Let me continue with my salsa. Hey, you're invited for dinner.